Hi, I'm Mike from Mike's Carburetor Parts. Uh, we get a lot of questions about how the accelerator pump works in a YFA. Uh, so I got uh, one that uh, this type here. Uh, let's see. Put the top on here so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so if your YFA looks like this one, um, then this is a video for you. Uh, not all of them. Not all the YFs and YFAs work exactly the same, but they're very similar. Okay, so here's your di accelerator pump diaphragm that fits in here. And the first thing that happens is um, when uh, the pump is down, it brings in fuel from the intake right here. There's a little check ball in here. You don't do anything with it. This is a clean out hole for it. Uh, and it's very hard to hear, but if you shake it, you can hear it rattle. As long as it's rattling, you're good. If it's not rattling, you're going to have to drill this out. Uh, we have plugs uh, measure the hole and look on our website for the same size. So that's where it, it comes in. So it fills up at the, on the top here. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so the other thing that happens about the same time is you let up on the throttle. And at that point, you have full vacuum and you have vacuum that is uh, going to help pull down this diaphragm and that hole is right here where it feeds the vacuum there's no fuel in on this side it's just vacuum so along with your accelerator accelerator um, and we'll see that later when I put it back together um, you uh, the vacuum helps you helps assist it so <clears throat> I'm going to show you where that vacuum line goes so that if you're having a problem you can uh, uh, trace the line and make sure that it's open and let's take this off uh, you've seen at the bottom of the well uh, the little vacuum port where the vacuum goes in and helps suck down that diaphragm Now you're only going to get a uh, vacuum there at uh, idle when you have full vacuum because when you press on the throttle you uh, your vacuum goes down okay okay so again there's the vacuum hole right here hope you can see that let me turn it different ways here just a small hole in the side here okay and that feeds uh, through here okay and through this little hole right here you see it's a very small hole so I want to be sure you be sure you can blow through it and then through here okay now the gasket could be covering this area. That's fine because the vacuum will go right through here and feed that way through the bore. Okay, so that's how that's what helps pull it down. So, and then um, when you press on the gas, the uh, vacuum will dissipate and it no longer will pull down on it, and the pump will come up. Thus pumping gas through this hole here the side right on the side of this housing so this is this is the uh, when you push the accelerator this is when it feeds it when you let the accelerator up push the accelerator the gas will go in here through here and uh, through here this hole here and out through the main discharge and the main discharge has a check ball had one a second ago what did I do with it oh here it is so it's got a check ball in here like so and it's got a check weight which helps hold it down okay so when that when the diaphragm comes up and it pushes fuel through there it'll lift this check ball up or the check weight up and discharge fuel through the main discharge which is right here okay Pretty simple. 
so you make sure all that stuff is working and uh, you're, you're good to go so if you're having a hesitation uh, maybe it's the uh, maybe it's the vacuum you never know uh, check and make sure that uh, especially that it's clear here and that this is a small pinhole could easily be clogged with carbon all right so let me uh, by the way this one has a gasket on it our accelerator pumps diaphragms do not need a gasket uh, this acts as the gasket. Originally they put gaskets on them. I have a feeling this is a Chinese knockoff, uh, which we don't sell. Um, I'm just use it for show and tell. We found they're not terrific carburetors. Depending on which ones they are. Oop, I forgot something. Come here. Okay, but before I put that in there, let me put the, uh, this is the delayer spring. And what that's for is to, uh, uh, when this thing is going up and down, it just delays it a little bit and gives it a more smooth operation rather than herky-jerky. Okay. Like so. Anyway, I hope uh, the first part of this uh, video uh, helps you understand how the gas goes in and out uh, so that if you have a problem, uh, you'll be able to uh, diagnose where the problem might be. Because uh, if you don't know where the vacuum's coming, you don't know how the gas gets in there, yeah, then you won't have a clue uh, as to what might be wrong. Of course, the diaphragm could be bad could be the ethanol got a hold of it which is a problem we suggest you use our ED16 just put ED16 in our search box and uh, we have this ethanol all defense it's called uh, and you put it in there and it's, it's great for cars that like classic cars that sit around a lot and I've lost a screw that's not it here it is okay Okay, so we'll put this uh, splash guard in here, like so, and, uh, and then we'll put our pump arm, yes, on top of there, like that, okay, and we'll get it hooked together here, we got this little rod here, and it goes on the inside like that, just like just like a so. And of course it'll fall out. I'm trying to do this, I'm sure. Okay. There, just like that. Okay, I'm just going to make sure that it moves. And as you can see, it doesn't move a lot. That accelerator pump doesn't move a lot. There's only about an eighth of an inch 
in there for fuel and that's all it takes okay let's put the uh, metering rod in oh I'm going to show you this spring here um, you can see this in goes around the metering rod and what this does it just keeps it from flopping around a lot and then the main part of the spring just sits inside there and it hooks over this little hole right here the the uh, square looking part and we're going to fish this metering rod down there and put it in the main jet now these fit very loose that's fine they're not meant to fill the jet they just restrict the flow depending on where it's positioned as you as you step on the gas it pulls out and allows more fuel okay there it's in there all right so next we put this spring on here a little retainer Here, make sure we're okay. We are, and I got a different video on uh, how to test the accelerator pump before you put it on the car. But uh, that's basically it. We'll put the check ball and the check weight back in there just so it's not forgotten, and the gasket. Like I said, I think I did, that uh, I have a regular rebuild video out there on YouTube that <clears throat> will help you put it back together if, if this didn't wasn't enough for you. Okay, so I'm not going to make you suffer while I tighten all the screws down, but uh, that's basically, uh, that's it. I just wanted to show you how that accelerator pump diaphragm worked and uh, where all the vacuum lines are so if you have a problem you know where to look all right so you can get uh, parts for this at uh, mike's carburetor parts that's m-i-k-e-s-c-a-r-b.com and when you go get parts get the carburetor number off of the tag or <clears throat> let's see uh, let's see they're usually stamped right here the chinese aren't but usually there's a uh, four numbers with the S after it stamped here put that in our search box and uh, it'll go out and find all the parts that go to this carburetor okay again thank you for watching